Hi, I'm Himali from Speaking Brush and I welcome you to the daily journaling tutorials. This is the uh, crafting layout which I have made today and which I'm going to show how I went about it. Also along with this, I'm going to uh, explain some journaling prompts for beginners and craft journaling or for that matter any kind of journaling is not just about you know decorating your pages and uh, making it look beautiful of course that can be a part of journaling but the main idea of uh, the process of journaling is to think what you uh, what is you know going on in your head to recognize those thoughts to listen those thoughts and voices that are running in your head and to write them down such that you can validate the those uh, thoughts such that you such that you can work on them and you can progress so um, reflecting journaling is more about writing and when you add on the crafting layouts and beautiful art and uh, mixed media stuffs on it it became becomes a creative journal so uh, let's go about it and let me share how I uh, made this craft journal page the most difficult part for a beginner to start with is that they have so many ideas in head that what should be the first project how to start with is well, the that's issue. really common and that's where the ready-made prompts like this so just surfing on few uh, sheets printed sheets from iCraft and I came across this beautiful quote that uh, just matched somehow uh, it clicked me for my first page I removed few um, you know other flowers and uh, line page because not only I wanted to write I but also I wanted to make it as look well. like a So how I go about thing. it is I take a page on which I can write. I take a page that is uh, which has some nice illustrations. I take few leaves and few element sheets or whichever sparks joy to me, whichever makes me happy. I just keep them uh, separately. It was like just I was talking about time so I thought of using this clock. At this point of time, I'm still not sure what I'm going to use. I may use this bee, I may use the butterfly or I may not use this at all. But that's okay. Fine, just gather everything that uh, gains your attention. So right now, now as I am surfing through all these, I'm understanding that, okay, my page is going to look somewhat uh, white, cream, yellow and uh, green, basically. So I chose flowers which were matching to them, one or two sheets and one extra leaf sheets. So with all these materials gathered, I think I'm ready to start my craft journal page. I took time off screen and I separated all these elements from the element sheet and gathered it uh, ready. So this is my artist pad and I also cut the writing page the size of um, you know my journal however I wanted I mean I was just wanted only this much because on the other side I was uh, thinking of the flower one I like to leave some space from the spiral binding because you know just in case I want to use this somewhere else or uh, I want to tear it I can also I like to leave borders again it's up to uh, individual's choice how to use it I love this pages and uh, you know if you uh, see it carefully they have this nice um, tear this is like the offset printing uh, paper now if you can just see it's not just a printout but you know this this nice tear that they have it's called the decal edged uh, tear uh, I like uh, to give a rough edge and uh, not pretty much sharp and crispy outcome to my uh, Page. at least I am I want that today because all these elements if you can see they are more of a vintagey kind of uh, stuff you know so I think my basic layout will be something like this I'll have my coat somewhere in the middle and uh, the flowers around it I like to arrange the flowers based on the size uh, it makes it easy to choose which one goes where while I'm arranging so I have just um, cut and kept few elements ready which I might use probably. It's okay if you uh, don't use few of them or it's okay if you 
go ahead and bring some more elements into it it's entirely up to you it is your journal all right so go ahead and enjoy uh, being a part of it the whole process and not just worry about the uh, final outcome so i use white glue to uh, attach my papers um of course the two way tapes and other glues are also good i like white glue because you know it doesn't dry quickly and uh, so if i want to move some stuff here and there or align it correctly it gives me some uh, time again this one i think of leaving this open and sticking only on the uh, two sides this way a bit of white glue is enough i'm going to make sure that i align it very much correctly and um you know this leaves a pocket in case i want to make layers of flowers or leaves or something like that so the more the layers the better uh, the journal page is going to look now this one i'm going to do a flat craft journal page and only craft journal journal page so it's going to be like this i'm using this two way tape foam tape to attach the extra elements or to raise this this was there in the uh, kit itself i mean in the uh, element sheet itself this gives all together a different dimension to the project it looks um, even though it is not that uh, 3d it gives a nice depth and it makes it look beautiful so i've cut down the coat such that it fits in this board and i'm going to stick this as well with the white glue so i'm going to stick the first and the last row first and then the middle two just so that uh, you know it fits correctly see this is what i was talking about so when i stick this and if something has to be moved uh, up and down it becomes easy if it is white glue again it's uh, dip, it can depend on uh, individual's choice so i think uh, my base is ready and now i'm going to attach or play along how my different flowers and leaves and elements will go i somehow uh, very much wanted this small clock element you know as it said like begin now so I, i'm just going to uh, fast forward and take some time to play along with where all my elements will go and you'll see that Uh, i'm overlapping few i'm keeping something flat i'm sticking something down totally and um there will be uh, places where i'm putting in few half of the flower inside the pocket kind of thing half of the flower outside and so on so it is very important to enjoy this process and do it only and only the way you like it and uh, not copy the arrangement how uh, others have done it because uh, this is what is going to bring out the authenticity in you you know this is going to make your project look unique and for that matter even uh, you know at least this happens with me that uh, even if n number of times i'm doing the same thing every time it comes out different because this totally depend the journaling thing totally depends on what state of emotion what state of feeling you are while you are journaling and uh, that's the beauty of it that's how uh, the process of journaling is so therapeutic i'm satisfied with this and i think i'll call this done um let me show you how i made this quill these are really simple i just had this extra strip left so i cut it down thin and just turned it around like this i just glued it up with uh, the white glue as well so this is it for me I am fine here since this is a craft journal I'm not going to do any painting or anything in this um but I am definitely going to add some uh, glossy accent you know uh, to the butterfly here like this so this is the glitzy gel that I'm using and I'm going to add a few micro beads in the center of some flowers here and there so again I'm using white glue itself and uh i'm going to just place these cute micro balls 
it's just going to change the uh, look of the whole page of course if you are if you want to add splashes or colors uh, you can do it i want to keep it strictly as a craft journal and not uh, make it as a mixed media so mixed media journal will be having all uh, crafting and art elements in it and this one is as you saw just using um, paper and glue and scissors and elements that are used in craft so calling this done i'll move on to the next step that is journaling where i'll be writing out here so my prompt for today is to start something and whenever you want to start something you need to gather these the thoughts of these three points that is first your goals second your plan and third your purpose so uh, let me talk a bit more about how you journal on this point so most of the time what happens that we have our goals in mind we even have the plan and we even know why uh, we are doing that particular thing but uh in journal you need to write it in a correct way there is a correct technique to write these da uh, stuffs these thoughts down so let's say when i am writing down my goal so whenever you write your goal be very specific you know this is the uh, the magic of manifestation that whenever you write down your goal first of all write it in a very positive in a very affirmative way as if you have already achieved that goal or the goal is really very clear to you fine so uh, add prominent numbers dates in it like uh, what i am writing right now is that i want to complete this 22 pages of this uh, sketch pad with different type of uh, creative journaling and um, i want to do this before the 8th of march so i have a deadline i have a time limit to reach and uh, i know what i'm going to do in this particular book so i know what i want to achieve in that particular date fine also uh, i want to make step by step video of uh, each of that and uh, record it correctly with a basic explanation and upload it on youtube so this is my goal which i have to complete by 8 so be specific be very very specific they say that you know when you are specific you are sending a crisp clear ideas in the universe and you will attract all the possible energy that you need to reach to your goal fine next comes the plan now plan and to do list is different uh, most of the people have a mis um, understanding in this to do list is what you have to do to achieve the plan that will lead you to the goal i hope you are understanding so plan is like okay now when i now that i have my goal set of to do whatever i want to do how will i go about it that thing will come in the plan so in this i have a basic uh, plan that uh, first of all i'll gather all the type of journaling that i want to do i will make a rough sketch out of it fine then once when my rough sketch is ready i will gather all the materials that i want i will make a space to make this journal and do the recording and also at the same time i will have to make space to store these videos um, on my uh, device so this is your basic plan which will help me to achieve my goal the to do list is totally different to do list means okay now i have to break my plans in parts and i will be writing my to do list so okay first to do list to gather all the ideas so i'll go to pinterest i'll go to different uh, journals uh, in which i have brainstormed and written few ideas here and there then my next to do list to gather all the supplies to do the fine cutting to uh, make sure to bring any other element which i am i don't have and so on so to do list is different planning is different all right so make sure that you have your goal clear your plan clear and written it down right in front of you so when you write it down it's like reflecting so you know if something uh, is there on your face you watch yourself in the mirror and you clean it up if something is there in your head how are you going to clean that ideas up how are you going to watch that there is no mirror for the uh, for seeing whatever the, is there inside the head right so journaling when you write it down it acts as a mirror it acts as reflection to your thoughts 
and it is very much necessary to make sure that you have a purpose in doing whatever you are doing now purpose means why you want to achieve that goal all right that is your purpose what you want to achieve is your goal how you want to achieve is your plan and why you want to achieve is your purpose so in this case my purpose is uh, to try and make simplest tutorials for uh, the beginners to help them begin with journaling i recently met across few friends in my retreat that i organized few the last month that they know they have ideas but they don't know where to start so this was mainly for them and also it was that uh, the, the my personal purpose was so that i have some videos ready and so that whenever my daughter wants to um, you know start or learn she can just go to my youtube channel and uh, follow whatever she wants to so with your craft page decorated and your journaling done you have successfully made a craft journaling page today if you also get inspired and make something like this i would be really happy if you share your outcome with me your experience with me it really inspires me to make more do share and uh, like and comment uh, in this youtube channel also you can follow me as speaking brush therapy on instagram make sure you show this to people who might you know get benefited by this thank you for watching and if you are listening to me till here drop a heart in the uh, comment section so that i know that you have uh, reached till here had you were with me uh, so far and i'm so grateful for all of y'all for watching this thank you very much and have a great day